Hey guys, my name is Amy Martin and I am so excited to show you eyeshadow today. I love our eyeshadows so much. Eyeshadow is my favorite part of makeup. So today we're going to do a little bit of a holiday glam eyeshadow look. It's actually easier than it looks. I'm super excited to show you. So let's get started. Okay, I got clean brushes and I'm ready. I'm ready to do some holiday makeup. Got my little holiday compact here. I have Moonlit Highlight. I have Bubba, Lullaby, and Salem. And then I have, this is a glitter, this is Shenandoah, and I have Glass Slipper and Unicorn. So first to get started, I'm gonna start with a base of Moonlit all over my lid. And I always, always do this because it just really helps even out the tone of your eyelid and it also creates a nice base for your shadows to just grab onto, which really lets like the true color come through and the vibrance come through. So normally, when I'm doing everyday makeup, kind of all over my face. When I'm doing everyday makeup, I usually just like slap it on really fast. But since I'm going to do a little bit more today than everyday makeup, I'm just gonna make sure I get a really good layer on here because it's just such a good base. And I, I mean, it's important to use an eyeshadow base. This is my eyeshadow base. I have a hard time finding an eyeshadow base, like an eyeshadow primer that I love. I don't love use, using concealer on my eyes or foundation because I feel like it just makes your eyeshadow look really dry and it can look, it can look really patchy. This doesn't do that. So once I've got my Moonlit on, then I'm gonna swirl into Cupcake, which is just our plain, very neutral, super light matte shadow just to set this in place. So if you don't have Cupcake, you should get it. But if you don't have it, you could use your setting powder or just some very light neutral shadow. It's not gonna change the color, but just set the moonlight in place so that the colors glide nicely on top. Okay. Then I'm going to start with Bubba. Bubba is a very warm neutral color. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that in my crease. I'm gonna bring it up kind of high up. So I wanna make sure when I apply this that I have my eye open when I'm looking in the mirror so that I can see how far I need to bring it up. So you make sure that that bubba shows when your eye is open. Especially you need to do this if you have hooded eyes so you don't lose that color that you put there. So I'm going to softly layer this and smoke it out, just make it nice and soft. This is gonna add warmth to the rest of the colors that I use because I actually have some pretty cool tones in this palette. It's going to be really pretty. You can tell that Bubba is one of those pretty colors you can wear all on its own when you're doing a really fast makeup day. Um, you can get it really soft or you can keep layering it like I just did and get a lot of pigment out of it. So I just want to make sure that you see that I'm taking my crease color out kind of far. It's meeting my, the edge of my brow right here, which is going to help me give a nice blend when I'm all the way done. And then anything that's extra that's overhanging. This is why I like to do my eyeshadow before I do the rest of my makeup, because you can take your brush, once you do your, your 3D foundation, you can just like erase it. <laughs> you can just take it away and clean up this line. So don't worry about going too far out of this step. Okay, next. Next, I'm gonna go into Lullaby, which is this mauve shade. And I'm just gonna place that right in my crease, but I'm not gonna take it up as high as Bubba. I'm just kind of mixing these two colors together so that Bubba is still the last color, it's my transition color. But Lullaby is just gonna make it really mauve and pretty and it's gonna deepen my eye and deepen the shadow of the crease. Okay, I'm gonna take my brush, swirl it off, and I'm just gonna blend and make sure that these two colors come together. Okay, now I'm gonna take the small side of this brush. This is the eyeshadow brush. And take the small side and that's gonna focus right in the beginning of the crease, right where the crease starts, and the outer corner of my lid. And I'm gonna bring this in about halfway to create a shadow here. Now, we're gonna go even darker. I'm gonna go into Salem with the fluffy side of the brush and you just need a little bit. So just tap in and you might wanna tap off into color remover sponge or a paper towel and just start swirling in the outer corner right where you put that lullaby at the edge of the eyelid. Swirl in that corner and swirl through the ha outer half of the crease just to create some depth, some darkness here 
and we'll definitely keep building and playing as we go. Just want to place a little bit of color here for now. Okay, it's okay if you're not perfectly blended at this step because we're going to blend again. So next, now I'm going to go for some of my lighter colors. So I'm going to take my multitasker brush, the flat side, and I'm going to dip right into the moonlit. I'm going to place that right where I want my light colors to go. The inner corner of the lid all the way to the inner half of the lid. And because I have smaller lids and hooded eyes, I'm actually going to drag that up a little bit into my crease so that when my eyes are closed, you can really see this nice bright color that I'm going to put here. not to be perfect at this step because because it's cream you can blend it now if this was a concealer you'd probably be stuck with what you have but you can blend and blend and blend because it's cream it's so nice it's like foolproof and you feel like you have like a safety blanket the whole time you're doing your shadow okay so then I'm gonna do glass slipper first and I'm gonna use my finger anytime I use shimmer shades I really like to use my finger I feel like it really helps the metallics come out and it just gives you a lot of control so I'm going to tap the glass slipper all on top of where that moonlit was, which is grabbing the color. It's even intensifying it a little bit more, which is going to help me get it right exactly where I want it to go. Okay, it already looks nice. Already looks good. So then I'm going to go ahead and deepen my other shades and make sure everything's nice and blended. So I'm first going to start in Lullaby and I'm going to bring that through the crease and bring, I'm going to start at the outer corner of my eye and bring it in towards the glass slipper so it meets the edge of that. And it's just a nice seamless blend there. I'm going to take a little bit of the Lullaby right where the glass slipper meets that Salem. I want to first transition with Lullaby. So a little Lullaby right here on the edge. And then I'll deepen up with the Salem. Now at this point, if you have any, any little fallout of your eyeshadow, if you were just a little bit messy like I was, you can clean it up with your brush before you do your foundation. And then I'm gonna make sure that everything is all nice and blended. That's gonna be my next task. Okay, I've built my color, but I wanna add a little bit more gloss slipper before I go in and do some glitter. So if glitter is not your thing, you can skip this step because it still catches your attention without it. But if you want to use glitter, you can either use a little bit of the Moonlit highlight underneath to grab the glitter, or you can use your setting spray. I like both. So I'm actually going to use just a little bit of the Moonlit. I'll use it with my finger and I'm going to put the glitter on top of the glass slipper, but mostly on my lid. I'm not going to bring it up too high in my crease. So just like a touch of Moonlit on top of the glass slipper, just to get that glitter to stick down to it and hold it in place. Then I'll use my finger to go into the glitter. I'm using Shenandoah. You can also use Graceline would be really pretty and just tap the glitter on top of the moonlit, which is just really gonna grab it and keep it in place. And you can tap and build as much as you want until you get as much glitter as you want. Okay, so next I'm gonna do my inner corner highlight. I'm gonna use Unicorn for this. It's one of my favorite colors for inner corner highlight. So use the tiny side of that brush, the small side of the brush and just dot it in the inner corner and just kind of swirl. You can blend it through slightly your glass slipper shade. Eat out right here for a little inner corner brightness there. Now when I do my foundation colors, that will kind of take care of the harsh drop off I have right here. So don't worry about that. I'm just gonna place that unicorn just to kind of brighten things up. For under my eye, before I do my eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and 
I'm gonna use a little bit of Bubba Lullaby and Salem all together. So the small side of that brush that I just used with the unicorn. I'm gonna start with Bubba just to add some warmth. And then I'll go into Lullaby. And I'm gonna blend these two together just lightly. Okay, for Salem, I'm gonna be a little car careful here. So just a little bit of Salem goes a long way and I'm gonna just kind of scrub it under my bottom lashes and bring it in and then I'm gonna bring it out to meet the Salem that I have out here in my outer corner. And I'll swirl those together so it blends nicely. Okay, looks crazy until you get your eyeliner mascara on. I'm gonna do that and the rest of my face and I'll be back to show you the final look. Okay, this is the finished look with eyeliner, mascara, lashes, and the rest of my face done. So you're ready for whatever holiday, whatever party. You can switch up this look and add a little bit of Ivy League just for a little more green. If you wanna wear it for on Christmas or definitely add some gold for New Year's Eve. It's so versatile. You can switch up these colors if you want to, but this is what I used. Moonlit Bubba Lullaby Salem unicorn glass slipper and shenandoah if you want the glitter i think the glitter's fine though so if you have any questions at all or need help picking out colors please don't hesitate to ask and i will talk to you guys later have a great day